So here's a list of famous people that are homeschoolers that a lot of people don't know. Thomas Edison. Now, not every single one of these people uh, were homeschooled their entire life, but a good portion of their life. Okay. So one of the greatest inventors. Yeah. Important figure. Um, Is he which, a celebrity? I may have misspoke. I don't know if Thomas Edison <laughs> qualifies as a celebrity. I don't know if I have it on this list, but... Historical um, figure. Um, Nikola Tesla was also homeschooled for a good chunk of his life. Okay. Um, huh. Tim Tebow. Yep. I actually went to church with him. Condoleezza, Condoleezza Rice. Rice. She was the secretary of state for, was it uh, Bush? Right? Uh, I don't know, but she's awesome. The Irwin kids. That kind of yeah, makes sense. Yeah, that makes Steve sense. Steve Irwin. That makes a ton of sense. I was so sad when Steve Irwin died. Legitimately. Well, yeah, I was. Julian Assange. Hmm. <laughs> A rebel. Yeah. Serena and Venus Williams. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. Super. Billie Eilish and her brother. Yeah. I think I knew that. Um, C.S. Lewis. Huh. C.S. Lewis. Wow. The Jonas Brothers. I think I knew that. Yeah. Mark Twain. Now this, he didn't actually, he was not homeschooled. It, he and his wife homeschooled their kids. Can you imagine? Mark Twain himself be the one teaching you literally like... How to read yeah, and write. Well, what's crazy is like so many kids are taught literature and English with, with his stuff, with Mark Twain's stuff as a reference. Yeah. Um, Charles same, Dickens. With, same with Charles Dickens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. J.R.R. Tolkien, yeah. Lord of the Rings guy himself. So I'm so, so pausing here. You may have more. I'm seeing a theme of people that basically uh, see the world differently. They see like w whether we're talking elite athletes, whether we're talking musicians mm -hmm. uh, or whether you're talking... Uh, uh, someone like an author or even a Thomas Edison where they like see a problem to be solved. Um, but like they're, they're processing the world around them maybe a little bit differently. hundred percent. There's a reason why I have a hard time functioning in society because I <laughs> don't see the world exactly. Now, I don't know if you know, a lot of people know who Brett Cooper is, but she works for the daily wire. She's got a really popular YouTube channel. How dare you? Um, how dare I? What? A lot of people know who Brett Cooper is. I know is. she's cool. She's a big deal. Um, I mean, but like, so she was, a, she was an actress uh, at a young yes. age and it yeah, allowed yeah. her to have that freedom, that time to do things. See what people don't understand when you could, when like poor you, not poor you, you went to school and you sit down, you have a curriculum you have to do. If you get done in time, you stuff to sit there and you wait. If you don't have enough time, you have homework. There's all this thing when you're doing like you're homeschooled. A lot of times it's a set curriculum that you have to get done in a certain amount of time. Like you need to get this done this week. So you can get it all done like in two days and then go get a job. Mm -hmm. You then can work on other hobbies. I love to draw. I love to play music. So if I got my work done early, I could go do those things. Yeah. It didn't matter when I would do it. I was more creative in the mornings and I was really good. I would say early afternoon and that nights I did better with school. So I'd do my school at night. I had jobs young, mm -hmm. making money when my friends had no chance to because they were stuck in school and I was out working and I would just do homeschool at night. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of the structure of public school mm -hmm. has built into it a lot of transit time uh, and break time that not every student necessarily needs and, and is not necessarily the most efficient. Like if you think about, you know, for me... Um, there were a couple of instances growing up where I had to walk um, like at least a mile to get to the bus stop in the morning. Mm. And then because it wouldn't get any closer, there was one instance when I was in, I think it was when I was in middle school, um, my bus ride was 45 minutes huh. because I was the first stop picked up. And then at the end of the day, I was the last stop dropped off. So right there, like, just, I had like a morning and evening commute. Like it took me, you Sort know, of like it was prepping you for a job. Yeah, right. It took me 20 minutes anyway to, to like walk to the bus stop. Then another 45 to like ride the bus to, to get to school. And so doing that twice a day, cause like to the bus stop and, and from the bus stop, um, like that adds a lot of time. And then on top of it, you've got time between classes that like built in where you're shuffling to go see a different different, um, professor. Then you've got time, um, going to the cafeteria, there's recess time. There's all these things where like, if you actually have focused attention from a teacher, uh, with a customized curriculum for you, um, 
many homeschool parents will say that they're done with the day's curriculum within a few hours. And then, then they can go out and like, or like there's many instances too. I know of like families that are going on a, a family vacation and they're going somewhere tropical, they're going somewhere to the city, they're going somewhere interesting. And part of that vacation becomes like an education. Mm -hmm. It's an education for their, an education vacation. Uh, for, Nerd. For the kids or for the family. It's like, we're gonna go experience this new thing and learn about this culture or this type of um, ecosystem or whatever. So like, um, yeah, there's all this flexibility built in, which I think is super cool. I didn't have I that. got a great story on that. My Please. grandfather. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. If you want to see the full podcast, be sure to click on the link in the description. And if you feel like it, hit subscribe.